Paris 2024 aims to be the greenest Olympics in the event's history. Organisers claim that previous Olympics, such as Tokyo 2020, Rio 2016 and London 2012, emitted an average of 3.5 million tonnes of CO2, whereas Paris 2024 aims to limit emissions to around 1.75 million tonnes, setting the standard for sustainability. 13.4 million tickets have been sold for the prestigious sports event, which will showcase 800 Olympic sporting events with 15,000 athletes. 26,000 media professionals will be covering the spectacle and 45,000 volunteers will be lending a helping hand. With numbers like this, remaining sustainable will be an enormous task. So how are they doing it? Unlike many previous Olympics, Paris will host 95% of their games in existing buildings or temporary infrastructure instead of splashing the cash on new buildings. Only one new venue has been built for the games, which is solar powered, uses natural bio-based building materials and is fitted with recycled materials. The Stade de France, which was initially built for the 1998 World Cup, will host most of the events. Paris 2024 plans to ensure 100% of the equipment and infrastructure used during the games will be given a second life. One of the main ways Paris 2024 is aiming to stay green is with the Athletes' Village. The 2,800 apartments will generate energy from geothermal and solar power, and once the games are over, they will be converted into homes. It's also been reported that athletes will sleep on mattresses made from recycled fishing nets and bed bases from reinforced cardboard. It may not sound like the most comfortable, but it certainly ticks the box for sustainability. Organisers have also pledged to double the amount of plant-based, local and sustainable food they serve and half the amount of single-use plastic involved in their offerings, aiming to reduce waste and battle carbon emissions. The Games will provide around 13 million meals throughout the four weeks, with 80% of them being of French origin and 30% of them being organic. To offset emissions, rooftops have been built with enclosures to house insects and birds and almost 9,000 trees have been planted around the athletes' village to encourage biodiversity. A thousand kilometres of cycle lanes and 200,000 new trees have also been added to the surrounding streets. To cope with the influx of tourists visiting the Olympics, 3,000 more pay-as-you-go bikes are being made available and most Olympic venues are accessible by public transport to reduce vehicle emissions during the event. With all of these steps in place, it's clear that Paris 2024 is setting the standard for sustainable sporting events for years to come. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe down below, like this video and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. You can view all our open vacancies or register your CV with us today at nesfurcroft.com. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at nesfurcroft. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.